You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters. Well, before we even dive into Jameis Winston being a Cleveland Brown, wow. Derrick Henry just signed with the Ravens, the Baltimore Ravens. Two years, up to $20 million on that. $9 million of it is guaranteed fully. He's uh, 30 years old, I can tell you that. I just looked him up yesterday. I think he's certainly got a couple of good years left in him. I like the move by the Ravens. They had trouble running the ball, and I think they had trouble being physical on the offensive line and with the running game against the Chiefs. Well, Derrick Henry is your guy. I mean, Derrick Henry is the guy you go get if you need to get more physical. And with Chris Jones up front for the Chiefs, I get this. I really do. I like the signing. But, oh, man, we cover the Browns a lot. And now the season can't get here quick enough next year. Now, the sad part about this is this is basically Joe Flacco. I mean, Joe Flacco's done, at least in Cleveland, I would guess. I cannot imagine he's going to agree to come back and be the third stringer. Plus, they still believe Dorian Thompson-Robinson is a possible guy there. I think he's a possible guy there. But this is what we got. Breaking news, Bleacher Report, Gridiron. Jameis Winston is close to finalizing a one-year deal with the Browns worth up to $8.7 million. Man, Dude, who is your agent? Because I think you should have gotten at least the $10 million that Marcus Mariota just got from the Commanders. Maybe the Commanders are more desperate. I don't know. So as you can, uh, as you can expect, there's plenty of reaction from NFL fans on this. And uh, very quickly, let's just go over. We got, we got Jameis up here real fast. 22,000 yards, 141 touchdowns, 99 picks. And who can forget this gargantuan 5,000-yard, 33-touchdown, 30-interception season that was one of the most chaotic and one of the most entertaining seasons I've ever seen a quarterback put together. I mean, it was, I'm going to throw it to the wide receivers, I'm going to throw it to the tight end. I'm going to throw it to the running back. I'm going to throw it to the cornerback, safeties, the popcorn guy. You name it, he was throwing the ball everywhere. And it was fun to watch. I'm not even going to act like it wasn't. Man, that quarterback room. Yikes. Jameis Winston and Deshaun Watson in the same. Woo-wee. Yikes. Oh, my God. So, as you can imagine... The reaction from this is going to be a dumpster fire. It really is. Brown's quarterback room going to lead the league in allegations. (laughs) Uh, I'm not here to hate. Solid backup can win you some games. Man, I got to be real. I still think there's a world where Jameis Jameis should get a look as a starter. But, you know, that's... Maybe that's just me. Uh, This person's not happy. Really? Can't they find someone cheaper to just throw the ball up for grabs? Uh, Man, I wonder where Flacco's going at this point. Because the Jets, which I thought was still a possibility, um, they grabbed Tyrod Taylor. Bring those crab legs to the O. Yeah. Walmart sale. All right. Nice QB room with Watson. Deshaun Watson is catching a bunch of strays in this, and it's wonderful. Uh, Great work if you can get it. True. Nice one. Congrats. Why do these bottom feeder teams think they can win with poor to mid quarterbacks? It's not a bad question. I mean, it's really not. I wonder about that sometimes, too. Congrats. Wow. Wow. I mean, the reaction is is out of control. Jame is a good player. Wow. Uh, We ain't got to worry about the Browns for a while. (laughs) God. Uh, uh, Fans of other teams are really weighing in on this. Uh, Really. I mean, 
That is absolutely crazy. Yeah, standing on the corner, Jameis on the Cuyahoga. Such a fine sight to see. Uh, it's really interesting. Uh, this guy says, no, but go great Jameis. I'm going to tell you, Jameis Winston is beloved by Saints fans. Absolutely beloved. We will miss you, brother. I mean, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you right now. Steelers defensive back start hitting the jug machine. <laughs> Get your hands ready. <laughs> How about a little Wayne's World? Wave it. Let's throw it back to what, 92? Oh, Jesus, God, no. <laughs> oh, wow. Browns laugh out loud. No. Uh, the jokes write themselves. Yeah. Yeah, they kind of do now. Sigh. We don't care. Flacco's better. Uh, you know, April Fool's, I hope. Uh, nope, too early for that. Getting paid to do nothing. <laughs> oh, God. That, look, I'm telling you, Saints fans are not happy. Dennis Allen ruined my team. I could have told you he was going to do that, but, you know, that's just me. Uh, yeah, Brown's new starter. Uh, look, I think there's a world where Jameis takes this job at some point during the season. I really believe that. I really believe it. Wow. Face palm. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, uh, so long, partner. I'm telling you, they l absolutely love Jameis. This is an L for the Saints. What the F do you do the Browns want him for? Bunch of question marks. AB building the next Epstein Island. Yikes. 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 Well, there we go. We we don't care. Flacco's better. Nice QB room with Watson. Uh, that guy's getting his money's worth. He really is. Wow. Wow. It's 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 crazy. It's crazy. A lot of people a lot of people are praising this. There there is some praise in here, really and truly. Uh, Jameis is leading the Browns to the Super Bowl would be the best thing ever to happen in the history of sports. Uh, the best thing that happened in the history of sports might have been Joe Flacco doing it, but uh, Jameis Winston, he's just wild. He, he really is. Uh, wow. Outstanding signing. Loved him in Tampa. Hoping he does well in Cleveland. This is so surprising as Deshaun is too expensive to replace, so unless injury, his snaps will be minimal. Well, yeah, but you, you never know what's going to put Deshaun Watson out. I mean, really? Let's effing go. Hide the women in Cleveland. Two QBs accused of doing bad things towards women on the same team. Oh, man. Didn't didn't Jameis get like, uh, wasn't that BS? I couldn't remember exactly if that, that ended up being some uh, horse crap. Horse crap. So, in other words, Watson didn't want someone who is a better leader in the locker room, Flacco. So he bitched. Now we have Winston. I hate the fact I have to root for this piece of shit, J uh, Deshaun Watson. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. He's definitely going to start a game this year. Immediately better than Watson. I told you guys, Deshaun's catching strays out of this thing. I mean, really. Watson needs to demand a trade. Can't believe they signed a, a QB better than him. Uh, Joe Flacco was there. Wow, they benched Watson already. That's crazy. <laughs> what about Flacco? It's being asked right now. Yep. I mean, for real. Yep, this guy's saying uh, Flacco. Yeah. Yeah. Better than Watson. He should be their starter this year. You know, you're, you're going to start getting a cry out of the Cleveland fans here. Jameis in Cleveland. Yep, yep. Laugh my ass off. Watson is cooked. <laughs> uh, QB1. <laughs> I'm telling you, Saints fans, they're, they're struggling with this. They really are. We really are. That's where we're going to hold off. But I had to do reaction on Jameis Winston to Cleveland Browns. Thank you. Wow, that's so good. That's so good. Can we get another 30-30 season? I understand 
It's not Jose Canseco, but hey, this isn't baseball. But he went 30 for 30 in, in, in the NFL. That was one of the funnest seasons to watch. He literally, Jameis threw the ball all over the place. Like, you want to talk about no risk it, no biscuit, Bruce Arians. I mean, it was just, it was a blast to see in Tampa Bay. Tell me what you think. Oh, Cleveland is, it's going to be, there's going to be calls for Jameis to start. There were a ton of calls for Jameis to start by the fan base in New Orleans. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.